What's up everyone, it's DV, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to get lots and lots of red bronze very quickly because obviously with this latest update, we got a lot of stuff that requires red bronze. If you missed that update video, definitely check it out in the link below. It is all about the oil update. With the oil update came basically part two of factories. I'm gonna show you a little bit of, you know, what we have to deal with if you're just catching up. For those of you that actually been, you know, hanging out and following along, you probably already know everything you need to know about this right now. Down here, you've got these um, workbenches, right? So this new workbench that I'm using right now is a tier four. It does require 250 red bronze ingots. And then if you head down to factory, look at all everything requires pretty much red bronze. In fact, yesterday we just got this, you know, tier two vending machine and it requires 500 red bronze ingots. Now today I was actually going to give you a completely different video relating to pallets. And I'm going to do that tomorrow for you. So if you're, you know, curious about how to set up a auto pallet farm, expect that tomorrow. I will have that to you. Um, I've been working on some stuff already. I've been experimenting. I think I have the best one for you, but I'm, I need to check in with the devs to, before I do that to make sure they're actually going to fix a bug. If they don't fix the bug, then I have to give you a completely different build. So hopefully well, that video will be out tomorrow. Like I said, I'll give you a couple different options as well. But today we're going to talk about, well, how do you even afford red bronze? Because obviously we need it. So I'm going to show you some builds in a second here. But first up, I want to show you my auto farm over here for red bronze. This is pretty traditional or typical of what you're going to see. I do have something a little bit more advanced here to speed mine up, but I'm not really going to go into detail on that. That's just, you know, we basically have a petrifier over here that is creating petrified petroleum, which is feeding into my gold which is really boosting my gold drills, but that's not what, you know, it's not really impactful enough to really say that that's the fastest way. I'm going to show you the fastest way in a second, but right here you can see it's just going really slow. And you know, I got five just now, you know, this is after like 20 minutes of hanging out on the server, I get about five. Now you can get a little bit more if I had a little, if I had another copper mine over here, I can, I can definitely get more. And on top of that, if I could, you know, if I were to feed um, petrified petroleum into all of my machines over here, it would go even faster, but it's not going to be so fast that it's going to get me like, you know, a couple hundred um, red bronze very quickly. And I don't know about you, but I'm really tired of seeing 50,000 to 75,000 per red bronze ingots. That's kind of going to break most players. Most players can't even afford that. So today we're going to talk about what you can do and what you can do without having to spend a lot. You know, you don't even need a tier four workbench. We're going to get rid of this. Nothing in today's video is going to be going through that tier four. So you don't need it. But if you did need it, you know, you can always go to like one of these islands. Most of these players will actually have, you know, one of those uh, tier fours available for you to borrow. But today what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a couple things. One is we need some, um, we need actually some randomizers. Randomizers, if you don't have any randomizers, you know, you don't need this. You can actually do it a little smaller. But what I'm going to be showing you is like the most optimal build that I'm going to use. Now, of course, you know, this is assuming you have lots and lots of ore, right? So if you go to type in ore here, you can see I've got, I don't actually have that much copper ore, surprisingly. I used to have like 20, 30,000 of this. So I'm assuming you have a ton of copper ore. If you don't, for any reason, if you don't have copper ore, go ask your friends for some. They're pretty much throwing them away. So, you know, no one wants to have to smelt these. They're a big pain to smelt. Look at, I have 111. This is the same thing with iron ore. I have 111,000 iron ore. Granted, most players probably have maybe a million by now, but it's, you know, I have a 111,000. On top of that, I've been sitting on this gold ore from, you know, farming buffalo core and other things in the world. And so what's great about this is you can get this without having to like, you know, wait for your drills and stuff. So I have over a thousand gold ore. So like I said, pretty much this ore is your free resource, right? Pretty much you can go in this and grind this. The copper is just a little bit more challenging. Uh, most players just have a drill. If you just have a drill, you can just sit there and collect, you know, inside of uh, inside of chests. You can just drill that copper and then um, grab all that. And, you know, if you have like a thousand copper, great. So that's kind of the goal here is, you know, have about a thousand copper maybe about 500 gold ore for this. And um, you are going to need some smelters. Ideally, you have a bunch of smelters. You have a bunch of randomizers. If you don't, no big deal. Um, you know, you don't have to use the randomizers. I like it because I can actually make this the optimal build. So I'm just making, I'm going to show you the optimal build here. I'm assuming you, you can actually afford some of these things. If you can't, no big deal, like I said, but we're going to go ahead and show you the best build. And then if you only have two of these, you know, two smelters, which you might have, then awesome. You can still use a similar build. You just won't have as many randomizers and it'll be a little bit of a slower farm. But like I said, this is the best and fastest way. So so what we're going to do is we're going to move this over here just a little bit, just to the left here. We'll do it like right there. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to stack one more randomizer. Okay. So you're going to put one randomizer here, another randomizer right in front of it. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a smelter. I would say about right here. And then um, we're going to put a conveyor for assuming we're going to put a uh, coal totem here. We're not going to use anything with the petrified, you know, petroleum. That would certainly speed this up even faster, but we're not going to worry about that right now. And then because just most players don't have like 
like I said, nothing from tier four on this video. You can use tier four items if you want to speed things up. If you do have tier four stuff, this video probably won't matter for you as much, but maybe it will. But you can certainly feed this with petroleum. You know, with petrified petroleum is this stuff right here. You can actually feed this from the oil factory like I just showed over there. But we're not going to do, like I said, we're not covering anything like that today. So we're going to put a smelter right here, right next to that one. And then we're going to just stack two more right here. So we're going to have a total of four smelters. You could even, you know, advance this even more if you really wanted to have more than, you know, this. Maybe you have a ton of ore. Maybe you have a lot of materials. I'm just going to assume four for now. It's just an easy number to remember. And then what we're going to do is over here, we're going to back this up just one and we're going to mirror what we just did right here. So pretty much like that. And then what we're going to do here is these are going to connect to the right sides of these randomizers. So we'll obviously need a left conveyor like that. So you can see we got um, pretty much a randomizer. So if I fed something through here, it's going to split randomly between these two. Now, I would actually probably recommend, you know, splitting these a little further so we don't have any issues with the coal. Maybe the coal is trying to feed the wrong one. So I'm actually going to do that real quick just for sanity's sake, because even though it would work just fine, um, sometimes the coal totems act a little weird. So we'll go ahead and just let's just move this over one more more like that. All right. So let's go add these back. And then, like I said, we got a randomizer right here and now we won't have any issues with that, but you could, you could do it. Like I said, it's just not optimal. And then let's go ahead and put these turns here and then we'll put our straight conveyors there. And now we have a randomizer set up again. So now let's go ahead and power these smelters. So we have some coal with them. So we're just going to start getting them powered up with the coal totems. And I'm just going to put them on the left of each of these. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to feed this one right here. Cause remember, this is our main randomizer, right? So over we're going to do is we're going to feed this all the way over here. Now, ideally you would use tier two conveyors for this setup because we could uh, potentially start getting despawn because look at, look how far these are. These are pretty far, right? Which is not good. We don't like seeing this distance, but for this, it's fine. You know, just don't over spam stuff when you're doing this. Now from here, we need to merge and you might be thinking, well, DB, didn't you say we're not going to do anything from the tier four workbench? Well, the nice thing about mergers is they are actually available in the tier three. So if you see down here, there's our merger. So you might be thinking, DB, how am I going to get this whole merger thing? Like I can't afford crystallized iron. I can't afford anything. Well, you know, I know we're pretty expensive here. We've got the randomizers going, all that stuff. Mergers are definitely the way to go if you can. So let me show you what I mean. So we get these mergers, right? So basically what we could have done is made it so that we put these in between and then this thing connects to this one, this connects to this one and it changes into a single one. But there's a cheaper way of doing it. You know, mergers are great, but there's certainly a cheaper way of doing it. And that's just with conveyors. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So we're going to go hook a left on this one we're gonna hook a right on this one and I've been doing this forever for merging so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pad these right here like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into this like this so now we put another conveyor right there and we just merged. Well, now this is a similar issue, right? So how do we merge these? Well, instead of going straight this way, we basically bring them into the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and cut these out. Let me light this up so you can see it. All right, hopefully you can see that. So what's gonna happen here is we did merge these. Now what I'm gonna do is one of these are going to turn left like this. And it just, you could do either one. I just chose this, this lane for it. And then we're gonna do it one more time like that. So the way to do it is you have to layer it. You might be thinking, well, now I gotta dig all the way deep. No, you don't. So instead of doing it this way, what you can do is just cut this out and put a ramp down. One of the most underutilized items in the game, in my opinion, and just kind of look under here and we're going to build a little further down like this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put one of these ramps down there. And what that means is we can now go back up to where we were, put another ramp right there. Now I would, I don't like this travel distance here. It's really far. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like this with the single ramp. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put one one conveyor here then we're going to make some space for our refinery let's place our red bronze refinery right there we're going to use some input output chests we don't need more than one to be honest we're not going to be making that much it's not going to fill up that fast if you're really worried you can just do another one of these so now we get everything powered this does not require any kind of powering so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a chest to feed into we're going to use an industrial chest here um there's certainly a faster way of doing this but i'm just going to do it anyway and so in here we're going to go and find our ore and we're going to pretty much smelt it like that and then we're going to set this to direction out. Now what you're going to see is it's going to start pushing our gold out. So you see it's now smelting. Now imagine you had a lot more copper ore. What if you don't? What if you, you know, maybe have a like a lot of copper ore, but you don't have a lot of gold? Well, here's where I already thought about that. So here's where this goes. So what we're going to do is over here, we need some stairs. Let's put some, get some stairs. I'm just going to use some stone stairs, set them up right there and then put them right here like that. And then we're going to put a chair right here. And then we're going to just feed this. So you can see it's got a bunch of gold pending. 
and you can put this in on auto key press. You don't want to spam it too fast because remember, we got other stuff that's going to be going on over there. So if you're like me and you just didn't have that much, you know, maybe you only have a little bit of copper or maybe you only have a little bit of gold ore, but you have a ton of copper ingots. It's not balanced. You basically, you don't have like 2000 of this. Like right now I have zero copper ore. How do we solve this? Well, this is where we go to the next phase. So obviously, you know, we could actually go and dump this stuff here, but what happens to the gold? You know, obviously I could go and do both too. Maybe I don't have any ore. If you don't have any ore at all and you just want to feed these too you can just sit here and do these you can do this all day you'll make a ton no problem and then in that case you don't need any of this you can just do this with your red bronze refinery you can just feed it manually you don't really need this video if that's the case i'm assuming you have some copper ore one or the other so that's why this build is important is you know being able to smelt this stuff fast and being able to route it back now maybe you have a combination of both and you're like i just want an all-in-one solution for everything so maybe you have you know you're gonna go out and farm a bunch of gold ore and you still need it smelted and maybe you have a bunch of gold already as ingots you know, one or the other. In that case, what you can do is you can go to the next phase of this. You know, let me, let me, before I even get into this, I'm going to go through this, walk through this one more time before I make this even more complicated. So again, you have your starter randomizer. It's going to randomize between these two. It's going to either choose the left side or left set of smelters or the right set of smelters. So we have two sets of smelters. These are going to choose between these final smelters, this leg of the smelters. This is going to choose between these two smelters. You know, it's basically randomizing, right? This should be easy for you. You should be understanding this no problem. Just a randomizer. Now over here, this is just when things merge and this should be super easy for you to follow. Again, you're just digging a path so that it drops down onto another conveyor and then we do it again. We drop down. Um, you don't have to do this part with the ramp. If you don't want to, you can actually move this up even further so that this is actually underground. Um, I like this because it ramps up, but you could do it like this too if you want. It's not much different. So again, you're just dumping it back into a third level. So it drops. And then of course, because we have to merge again, it drops again. And then it goes in here. I like the ramp because you can actually see a little bit more, but this is fine. This is clean too. So you could just kind of block this out if you want to. So hopefully that is super clear for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one more step, you know, further. And again, if you just wanted to drop, you know, ingots directly, you could do that right here. No problem. You can use stairs to, you know, act as a funnel in case your character starts animating, or you can set up a chair and just sit in the chair and drop. The problem is again, you want to do both, right? You want to do ore and ingots. We take it a step further. So that's why we're going up. So let's go and build upwards. So let's just go up a little bit, you know, at least high enough that we can use some stairs. And so what we're going to do is this is where we're going to hang out. Okay. This is where we're going to do some hanging out. So we're going to create a little platform here. Thankfully we have this filter that's going to make this super useful. So I only want to have to drop to one place. And what I want is let's grab this filter. What I want is for ore to go left. This is my filter right here. What I want is for ore to go to the left. Now I do need a copper ore, so I'm going to have to go get one. So we got ore, let's go on left side. And then we want ingots or gold. We want gold to go like we want these to go to the right side. And then we also want copper to go to the right side because that's going to go straight into our refinery. Nothing in the straight. This st stuff in the straight is just going to go straight ahead. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up so that I can just pretty much dump stuff into a chest. So I don't, I don't have to sit here. I can pretty much do an out chest like this. And what's going to happen is I need this right here to feed directly into this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to just drop this. Let's move this just a little bit because this will be perfect. We want that to drop drop straight down into here, right? So let's just funnel this. So we'll create a little funnel so that the ingots go straight down. And then what we're gonna do is this filter is gonna drop stuff automatically straight down into the red bronze refinery area. So again, let's go set these up again. So gold's gonna go there, copper's gonna go to the right like that. And then this left side is gonna be our ore and gold ore are gonna go left. And then, so now we just have to feed this, this one right here. And what I would do is I would use stairs just for speed because we have too much risk of despawn already. So I'm just going to use some stairs. You can also use um, ice if you really want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a little box here like that because that's where we're headed. And so we'll put a stairway right here, right? So this stuff's going to float straight down into this. And this is the ore. And you got to be careful on how much you speed this thing because you can hit despawns. And then I think well from here we'll do some ice because that'll speed things up. As long as you can transport it over, however, whatever method of transportation you want is going to work just fine. And then let's just go and fill this in so things don't fall out. So just block the sides of the stairs like that, and it should hold the items just fine. They're not going to fall out. All right, so now we've got everything. We just need to do one more thing here. Because again, we got this stuff funneling through this randomizer. So what we need to do now is we just need to put this little industrial chest here. We're going to put it on an out mode. And now we can feed these four things. What I would recommend is put the things that you're going to put in here inside your hot bar. And 
by the way, you could use this for other, you know, purposes too. I'm just using it for, you know, my refinery, but you can use it for food processing. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to feed a bunch of this stuff. We're just going to kind of randomly click whatever we have. See, this is going. It's filtering or is going to the left. And pretty much what I could do is I could just kind of have a macro if I wanted to that just keeps going through these. Now, I don't have any other farms going, so we're not going to hit any despawn limits. We do have a little bit over here with the coal. We got a couple other things, but we're not we're not going to hit any despawn limits because of this rate. The industrial chest really helps prevent that. Now, because we are, are probably going to overfeed this with too much gold, you're going to run into some issues here. If you can, I would actually say do this. So like don't do ingots. I would actually do like if you're in this scenario, I would do this so that it's a little slower and then just feed only copper ingots or something. Just think about that balance because obviously you need a lot more copper over gold. So if you overfeed this with gold, you're gonna start running into issues where there's too much gold. I would say feed more copper than gold. Now there's literally no delay whatsoever to the bronze refinery. So that's why you can just kind of spam it with stuff. See, it's working It's working flawlessly. It's awesome. Looks like we're losing a little bit of gold here somehow. So let's see what's going on. It's like gold's bouncing out. So let's block that side there. Now you don't have to use this. Um, you don't have to use this. If this is going too slow for you, you can override it. If you're like, I can handle 10 times more. Well, okay, that's fine. What you can do is you can pretty much just put a little blocker here and you can just override the chest overall put some stairs to make create your funnel like that and then just block the sides so things don't fall out block those corners and then we're going to put one conveyor inside like that and then just set up a chair so your character doesn't animate otherwise your character is going to animate and make a huge mess so there we go and now you can go as fast as you want so if you're tired of waiting you can do it that way so that's another way of doing it if, you, if that chest was just way too slow for you just pile it in. This is definitely going to speed up things for me. I've got so much ore here. I'm also going to go get a bunch of um, copper ore off my alts. So I'll be able to farm a ton of stuff soon. Again, you'll need to check your progress. Yeah, we already got seven bronze ingots. You can also macro this, by the way. So you can say, okay, you know, you know, your first slot is on, um, you know, copper and then your fourth slot is gold. What you could do is you can actually fully macro this. I'm going to show you an example of me doing this real quick. So I'm not going to show you how to macro. If you don't know how to macro yet, check out some of my macro videos I've posted on the channel. It goes pretty well in depth on how to use them. So let's go and macro this real quick. So I'm going to go and hit record and then we're going to switch back to one and then we're going to end my recording and then we're going to play it back. So if you have a ton of this and you don't want to have to sit there and do it and you don't want inaccurate numbers, maybe you're kind of tired of doing the math on how many you're spamming. See how it's just doing it automatically too. Now it's going to switch back to one and then it's going to repeat it. So this is another way of doing it. So again, we already know we need 30 copper and then we also need two gold. And of course, you can speed this up too. You can speed up your macro. I'm essentially in my own factory. <laughs> I'm actually in a factory right now. Pretty awesome. You can see that bronze is, is going a lot faster now. Now, if you can afford faster conveyors, then definitely get them. They will speed things up. Up a little bit and so essentially i can just walk away right i can walk away for the rest of the night as soon as my stuff runs out then it just it'll just not be doing anything but this is how you do it this is how you do it this is the way to make tons of red bronze very quickly again it's super universal it's a universal setup here that will work for both ore and ingots so if you have only ingots or copper this will work just fine you can do this still and what's nice about it is if you're kind of done with maybe you don't want to make these anymore so what you could do is instead of trying to refine it you could just store it maybe you're done making red bronze you could use this for any other kind of ore so you could use it for iron you can use it for you know copper you can use any of that so just in this video we made a bunch of red bronze already and so like i said i can go back and i can just run my macro again so i can go eat dinner and then come back to maybe another 100 bronze maybe more so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.